We know that the built environment is responsible for 35 to 40 percent of energy consumption and CO2 emissions. And so we have an obligation to drastically reduce the impact that the built environment has on uh, the climate change uh, issue. In light of the Paris Agreement and the recent IPCC report on 1.5 degrees of warming, it's clear that we need to take urgent action to address climate change. The World Green Building Council set up the Advancing Net Zero campaign to create a space for international collaboration to tackle a global problem. UKGBC is launching the Advancing Net Zero program in order to drive the transition to a net zero carbon built environment. We're looking at whole life carbon, what are the whole life impacts of our built assets and operational performance. Are buildings as efficient in their use of energy as they should be? The opportunity is to get the fabric efficiency of the building right at the early design and during the construction process because that is where you're going to reduce the most amount of energy over the lifetime of the home. Advancing net zero is not just about uh, looking at the new build properties. 80% of those buildings that will be around in 2050 already exist. We need to tackle them as part of a national retrofit programme. The market demand for sustainable zero carbon buildings is increasing significantly and it's definitely not only in the C-suite but it's with the CEOs. From an investor's perspective uh, we believe it's important to make sure that we have future-proof buildings uh, from a technical, commercial and uh, environmental perspective to maintain future value uh, because that's the buildings that people want to occupy. So advancing net zero is going to need a lot of changes to the way we do things now. First and foremost, we're going to need to start taking a performance-based approach to how we deliver buildings. To focus on zero carbon needs a lot more collaboration and it needs a lot more collaboration earlier. And what that will mean in practice is the engineers, architects, client, contractor, the supply chain, all working together at the concept stage. We're also going to need new innovations, new types of materials, and we're going to need to create the space and be open uh, to that innovation. 20 different countries are sharing knowledge, education programs, and sharing that best practice, getting inspired and ramping up action is going to be key. At Grosvenor, we're proud to be partners of the UK Green Building Council Advancing Net Zero programme, and we know that if we don't collaborate together as an industry, we won't be successful. Our clients are also demanding it, but we think that we're in a position where we can really make a difference, so it's something that we're really proud to be associated with. It's going to demonstrate that zero carbon is possible, it's going to be well leading. We think it's a really exciting project. At the Barclay Group we're building around 10% of all London's new homes. We feel that it's important for the industry to understand how we can build these. We also think it's important for our customers so that they can live low carbon lifestyles in the future. At BAM we know that this is the way the industry is heading and we want to be at the forefront working with our clients and our suppliers to deliver net zero carbon buildings. We believe that the regulatory environment isn't pushing the agenda fast enough and therefore it's up to business to take the lead. We believe that we have the capabilities to uh, drive the way forward, share expertise and really make a difference. The Advancing Net Zero programme has brought together a wide range of businesses and professionals but we want the whole industry to engage with this agenda and work together towards a net zero carbon built environment.